You too, what's going on, man? It is Friday. Happy Friday to everybody. I hope you all have an amazing Friday. Spend some time with your family, with your dog, with your cat, with your turtle, with your pet rat, whatever kind of pet you have, man. So today we are here on uh, Tender Engines Inc. All right, so our first video is footage owned by Soda Railways not to be released to the public. Oh my God. So this must have been leaked or something, dude. 1411 experiment. That's your mic. Wait, that's Ari and Bert, right, guys? And that must be Oliver. How do you tell these two apart? They're like identical. Oh. Oh shit. He turned into the beast. What a beast. Like nope, I'm out of here. No way he died from that. That was just this little subtle crash. <laughs> Uh-oh. There's nowhere to go. Oh! It seems like the beast got him. Just like it's gonna get you if you don't smash the like on the video. <gasps> All right, well, R.I.P. to the boys, Ari and Bert, man. It seems like they were eaten alive by the beast, as we clearly seen him charging towards. I don't know if that was Ari or Bert, the one that got stuck. <laughs> but our next video is. Full story batching, the tragic demise of Toby. Alright, here we are. Is that him? You should be quiet. Oh! Oliver? What the heck? We lost Frederick last night. Damn engine went after the poor guy. He thought we were safe from the tracks. Boy, he was wrong. <laughs> Man. Man just crashed into the building. While heading away from uh, Kildane, we spotted what seemed to be a terrain off the line. Upon closer inspection, it was actually Percy who was derailed in a ditch. Oh, poor Percy. What has happened to Percy? Both Henry and Edward were in shock when they saw him. Blood was dripping out of his mouth. I couldn't look at it. We couldn't just leave them there, so we unco uncoupled them and pulled them out of the side. Dude, that is messed up. We wanted to get Percy too, but his injuries were beyond what they could fix. Dude, they're all sad. Bro, I'm about to cry, man. So we decided to leave him there. No, no trains left behind. We pulled Annie, Clarabout, and Essie Ruffy back to Kidley. Right, next time you might want to make the font another color, it's kind of hard to read. We woke up abruptly. It seems like someone took SC Ruffy while we were sleeping. I'm shocked no one heard an engine come by. Dude, who took him? Who could it have been? We found a survivor and I couldn't believe who it was. It was Leonard. Thank God he wasn't feeling good and stayed home. I thought we lost him, but we found him beside the line. Alright. As we approached the sheds and I almost fainted, as did Leonard. It was Thomas, he was horribly mutilated and extremely- Dude, what is wrong with Thomas? He decided to stay with Thomas until we returned. He parted ways and he headed down the line. Dude, Thomas is on X game mode. Toby? 
We found a lonely Toby waiting lonesomely at the train tracks. He was near empty coaches which seemed to have been evacuated. We approached him but he kept reversing. Seemed like he's seen something man. Yeah, I think sus boy. Maybe this whole uh, whole thing has taken a whole toll on him. We examined the coaches, which were the red cream and fast passenger service. Well, it seems Toby was in harm from the radiation. Toby was on the verge of tears. He told us he had to leave a heretia. He had stopped at a red signal. Dude! I'm going so fast. Oh, when the siren zip blared, the explosion happened. James was in shock and urged people to get out. Is that the brand on Blast? But only half the train was occupied. James yelled at him to push half off the train. But Toby realized that Henrita would be endangered and might be affected. The brown box fled towards the works. His face. He's a hero. You will be remembered, Toby. Get out of there, Henry, to take people to safety. The brown box? Toby uh, proceeded to cry, saying how sorry he was and how he wanted Henrita to be safe. However, a voice called out from inside of him in a deep, groggy voice that said something like, who made him suffer. <laughs> We peeked inside and what? Oh, Toby smoke box had begun sent and I had an mangled face which resembled truck. He was talking to the voices in his head. Alright, so he's gone cuckoo now. After waiting around for a bit, we decided to head back on down the line. As we traveled, uh, Toby was breaking down more and more. The air was full of fog, the sky was dark gray, and no sunshine can be seen. Edward began white sage. He was used as a tour to calm, co calm Toby down. <laughs> All of a sudden, Toby applied his brakes. We stopped and peered out of Edward's cab. Thomas was uh, stemming idly in front of us. We heard Thomas and the cab door open, followed by feet going down. Finally, the sound of gravel revealing the mysterious figure to us seemed to be our sh oh, Sir Bernan. Top and hat. We decided to go back to Tim at the sheds since we needed a place to stay for the night as well. A place. All right. So there they go back. Might want to leave the font a little longer, my guy. We parked over next to the breakdown crane. Oh, is this the part? Top Hand then declared he had a hunch on who was it, but didn't tell us, and he didn't mention he had a spotty past. Whoever it could have been, they really wanted to ruin everything he loved on this. We decided to get some sleep and early tried to meet up with Henry and the rest. Toby was silent and was looking extremely tense. Yo, you need to check up on your homies here and there, you know? We woke up Toby having an episode with his fire face and sounded like he was fighting for control. He was begging for her to stop. I woke up the others and we stood back as uh, he screamed in pain. The voices inside of him were telling him to end it all and that he was a pile of wood ready to rot. My god. Poor Toby, man. So this is more of a detailed version than we seen last time. Toby had told Thomas to take care of him, Rita, and then it happened. Oh, not this part. Top Ham knew what was about to happen, but it was too late. No! Toby, my guy. You'll be remembered, the brown box. It's so sad, man. It's gonna make a grown man cry. To be continued. Oh, man. Yo, this was well made. Where was this made on? 
Looks like it was made in the game, but I don't know what game. It was it was well made as we seen. It, they clearly put a lot of uh, a lot of effort into this, and they tried to make it as detailed as possible. So 10 out of 10, man. Shout out to T uh, Tender Engines for the awesome videos. All right, you guys. Well, thank you guys for watching. As always, thank you all for the amazing support. And I hope you all enjoy your weekend. And I will see you in the next one. Perfect. Perfect.